You shouldn't be on that table, Digby. That's naughty. You nutty boy. You nutty boy. It's amazing how much stuff you actually end up not using when you go away. There are still things in the fridge that we didn't use on the whole trip. We've still got two bags of rice that we never used. We had mozzarella left in the fridge that we never used. These um, mini squashes for like diluting drinks, just never even really used them. I don't know why, I think we just kind of forgot that they were there. Got some pesto that we never used. Eggs, never ate those. I wonder if these are still good. 7th of August, yeah, they should be fine. The same goes for clothes as well. I took a jumper with me, never wore my jumper, not once. Um, I took two pairs of trousers. The second pair of trousers, never even touched those. I think one of the videos that I'm gonna do over the next month, um, and has also been requested by a couple of you, is like a decluttering, tidying, just like sifting through things and thinning out the things that we don't use or need to try and free up some space. Because I think that no matter where you live or where you are, you can always benefit from shedding a few pounds, I suppose, with regards to decluttering and things like that. So I'm definitely gonna do that, but I'm gonna try and get all this stuff back in the cupboards anyway. Becky's gonna come back with a load more food soon. Um, so I don't know where it's all gonna go, but yeah, just kind of cram it in the cupboards, I suppose. <laughs> Oh yeah. It's just started raining outside, so I've had to bring in the uh, sleeping bags and kind of find somewhere to hang them up. Luckily, we've got this like bridge thing that goes across the two bedrooms and we can just kind of like sling them over the, um, the banisters. It works quite well. We actually use that quite a lot for like drying stuff. These are nearly dry, to be honest. I don't know what these are made out of, probably like polyester or something, but sleeping bags dry pretty quick. I can't do the other wash yet though, because I need to use the clothes horse to hang the clothes up on and if I do the other wash now and these aren't completely dry then I'm gonna have nowhere to like hang up all the clothes so I think I'm just gonna wait for this. I could actually probably put the clothes wash on because it would take a couple of hours to wash anyway. Um, yeah and then I'm gonna start doing dinner because it's half past five and we're getting quite hungry. Just a quick easy stir fry today, nothing too fancy. We're gonna have a roast dinner tomorrow though and I was thinking that for the video tomorrow I could just do like roast dinner in a tiny house video. I think that'd be quite good fun. Um, so yeah, that's what we're planning to do. But I'm gonna get this wash on anyway um, and then get cracking with dinner. just watching some of the Olympics on the telly. We've got the gymnastics on at the moment. I think the gymnastics are so cool. We haven't really watched any of the Olympics because we've been away. I quite like the diving, the gymnastics, the swimming, and I like the field events, like the hammer throw and all that kind of stuff. I think that's really cool. I don't really understand why they have like football at the Olympics and golf. I find that a bit odd because I, I wouldn't say they were like Olympic sports, but I think that it's if the sport's played in all five continents, isn't it? That's what my dad then said. it's at the Olympics. There is a fine art to hanging up your laundry effectively i think it's a skill that i've developed over the years i always used to keep small items at the bottom and the bigger ones at the top but i think i've realized that you want to keep the materials that dry faster in the middle in the center of it and then the materials that dry slower like your cottons and your hoodies and things like that you want to have on the outside because then they get more ventilation. The key to good efficient drying is to have 
good airflow um, and also heat helps as well so if you've got airflow and heat then your clothes will dry really fast I don't know what I'm doing here I'm just like juggling with socks <laughs> it's also useful if you can hang your clothes up outside to dry but we can't do that at the moment one because it's a bit too late and two because I think it's forecast for showers and obviously rain's not very good for helping you dry your clothes but it's fine we'll stick the dehumidifier on overnight and hopefully it would have got the worst of it and then if it's dry we can finish them off outside tomorrow The day is over, the cleaning, the van, the putting away, the washing, it's all officially done. I've just set up the dehumidifier. It's currently saying it's 84% humidity in here, but that's obviously because it's right next to the washing. I think the humidity is supposed to be around about 40 to 50, I think. So quite a lot of humidity to lose. I don't think the heavier bits of washing are gonna be dry by the morning but hopefully the lighter ones will, so we can put the lighter ones away and then maybe put the heavier stuff outside to finish off. But that's gonna do it for another video. This is episode seven, all finished. Just got another 24 videos to go in the month. <laughs> I feel like I'm going quite strong at the moment. I'm not like starting to struggle or anything. I'm gonna edit this video tomorrow morning. I think what I'm gonna aim to do is to edit the videos in the mornings, so, at the moment, I'm getting up quite late because I'm still kind of like in holiday mode. But I think I'm going to try and wake up a bit earlier, perhaps about seven o'clock. Um, and then obviously we can take Digby out and all that kind of stuff. And then I want to get editing as soon as possible because I want to give myself as much time as I can. And then in the afternoons, I can do the filming um, and just kind of roll with it that way. I mean, that might change in certain videos, especially if we go away in the van again, like that's likely to change but I quite like to get all the work done in the mornings and then the filming in the afternoons, that's kind of how I like to do it. But I'm gonna brush my teeth, get to bed. It's 10 past nine, so it's quite late. I think this might be one of the latest times I've ever finished a video, but it's been quite a busy day. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. We'll catch you guys tomorrow for another episode of Vlogust 2021. Um, we're gonna make the most epic roast dinner you've ever seen in your life so make sure you come back for that but until then safe drive stay alive have a lovely day and we'll see you tomorrow bye bye